Imagine a spiritual leader, a guide, a beacon of morality. Now imagine that same leader plotting the unthinkable. This is the tale of Rabbi Fred J. Newlander. In the heart of Cherry Hill, New Jersey, Rabbi Newlander was the epitome of trust and guidance. His congregation adored him, and his community revered him. But beneath the facade of devotion and piety, a sinister plot was brewing. A plot so dark, it would shatter the faith of his followers and send shockwaves through the very institution he had sworn to uphold. Rabbi Neulander, a man of God, was plotting to end his marriage, not through divorce, but through the cold, calculated act of murder. It was an act that would shatter the trust of his congregation, betray the sanctity of his position, and expose the depths of his moral corruption. As the community reeled in shock, the sordid web of Rabbi Neulander's secret life began to unravel. Behind the veneer of his holy vocation, Rabbi Neulander led a life of betrayal. A man of God, he was expected to uphold the highest moral standards. Yet he was entangled in a web of extramarital affairs, manipulation, and deceit. His sacred vows to his wife, Carol, were shattered by the allure of forbidden relationships. Among his liaisons, one stood out in particular, his affair with a prominent radio personality, Elaine Sonsini. Their relationship was not merely an illicit romance. It was a crucial cog in the machinery of Neulander's ominous scheme. This relationship not only marked a breach of trust with his wife, but served as a catalyst for the looming tragedy. The rabbi's deception, however, was far from over. His affairs were just the tip of the iceberg, a mere prelude to a far darker narrative. But the depths of Rabbi Neulander's deceit didn't end with affairs. A far more sinister plot was in the works. In the dark underbelly of his secret life, Rabbi Newlander took a step that would forever shadow his name in infamy. Let's delve deeper into this chilling chapter of Newlander's story. The rabbi, revered by his congregation, made the unthinkable decision to hire a hitman to murder his wife, Carol Newlander. His objective? To sever the marital ties that bound him. The gravity of this decision is not lost on us. This was not a spontaneous act of passion, but a cold, calculated move. He methodically arranged for the hitman, meticulously planning the gruesome act that would end his wife's life. It's a chilling reminder of how far some will go to protect their secrets. The impact of this act sent shockwaves through his community. A beloved spiritual leader, a guiding light, had orchestrated a heinous crime. The shock was palpable. The congregation he had led, the community he had served, were left grappling with the grim reality. Their rabbi, a man they had trusted, had committed the ultimate betrayal. This was not a simple fall from grace, but a plummet into the abyss of infamy. The aftermath of this act was equally devastating. Carol Newlander's life was brutally ended, leaving a void that could never be filled. Her death shook the community to its core, and with it, the facade of Rabbi Newlander's double life crumbled. With Carol's life brutally ended, the facade of Rabbi Neulander's double life crumbled. As the truth came to light, the community and the world watched in disbelief. A veil of treachery was lifted, revealing a man of faith as a puppeteer of deceit and death. The trial of Rabbi Fred J. Neulander was a spectacle that gripped the nation, as the evidence of his machinations was laid bare for all to see. The courtroom was a theater of shock and betrayal. As the prosecutors presented their case, each piece of evidence was like a dagger, piercing the illusion of a spiritual leader who had been revered and trusted. The hitman's testimony, the records of extramarital affairs, the tangled web of lies, all painted a chilling portrait of a man who had chosen the path of darkness. The impact of this betrayal was profound, sending ripples through the community. A spiritual leader, a trusted guide, had fallen from grace, shattering the faith of those who had looked up to him. The sanctuary that was once a place of peace and worship had become a crime scene, a symbol of a sacred trust broken. The shock was felt far beyond the confines of his synagogue, reaching out into the world, shaking the foundations of trust and faith. The story of Rabbi Neulander was a stark reminder of the human capacity for duplicity and deceit. Rabbi Neulander's tale serves as a chilling reminder of the depths to which human beings can sink, even those we trust the most.